Good morning everyone. I'm in the photography blind and it's early in the morning and I'm photographing chipmunks and whatever else is going to be out here It's a beautiful morning, especially to be photographing chipmunks. It's been a while since I've made a true photography video, because I've been working on the new homestead. It takes so much time when you move into a new place. We've got a dove out here. This is a, a morning dove. Something just scared everything off. So yeah, this is going to be kind of a fun morning. Be kind of relaxing. I'll be out here for an hour or two. Just trying to document the wildlife that is here at the new property at Mooseville Off Grid. We'll try and do a single species at a time because that way I can do the setups and things like that. Uh, I've got the photography blind oriented from east-west because it's pretty early in the morning so the sun is directly behind me shining directly forward. We're getting some animals landing on the bird feeders and stuff like that. We've got a black-headed grosbeak on the bird feeder. I'm not usually into photographing birds on a bird feeder, but as part of just documenting what we have here, I don't mind doing it. But my primary aim this morning is to is to photograph the chipmunks. bring you guys along so that you can see what's going on. So this is the view that I've got from back behind the camera. You can see I can see through the mesh to see the chipmunks and I can also look through the camera. But the mesh helps to conceal me so that any movements I make are not quite as obvious. But this is pretty much what you do. You sit back behind here for hours and hours waiting on the perfect images. One of the things I'd like to get is the chipmunks up on top of the rocks. But that's pretty difficult to do because they don't stay there but a fraction of a second because they don't want to be out in the complete open like that for predators. So a lot of times what you have to do is focus on the top of the rock and just wait and wait and wait till one of them gets up there for that fraction of a second. So let me get back to work and shut my big mouth so that they'll get back to work. So this is our setup. I have a bunch of rocks that I've kind of stacked and this gives the chipmunks a place to come and hide forage around and these rocks are directly below so one of the bird feeders is a peanut type of mix that's inside a basket and of course some of the crumbs fall onto the ground when the birds feed on it
and the other bird feeder is just a regular bird feeder that has sunflower seeds and some other types of bird seeds in it and as I say a lot of these seeds end up falling on to the ground and that's what the chipmunks are feeding on there's also a lot of grass and things like that in here I'm using a 600 millimeter lens with a Canon R6 You can see it's a little bit challenging to get them out into the open. And then when they do get out in the open, a lot of times all they give you is a tail shot. And if I don't keep my mouth shut, the animals are never going to come back. So, I'm going to sign off here and we'll show you the pictures that we've captured today. I thank you so much for joining us and if you would hit the like icon and consider subscribing to our channel. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you so much.